Stress. This is a very common picture. Drivers with their body core temperature approaching dangerous levels after stints in these closed cockpit cars, particularly the ones that have got the front engines, particularly with the big furnaces, the V8s and the V12s. Well, engineers, aerodynamicists, and all sorts of technicians trying desperately to keep the body alive in temperatures that can reach 70 degrees Celsius quite comfortably in air temperature within the car. Once the body's core temperature ventures over 37 degrees, suddenly you're into a very major danger zone. Not just hot, but dangerously so. Sweat doesn't evaporate in the race suit. Drivers find it very hard to regulate their body temperature, like Jean-Philippe Belloc in Imola this year. Now, Jean-Claude Lune is uh, a doctor of human factors. He said this is boiling water in the race round, representing a driver in the cockpit in terms of heat. Inside the car, of course, the driver is exerting uh, a great energy expenditure, great physical exercise. He produces an enormous amount of heat, and heat's coming into him from the engine, from the environment, and and from the, the surrounds of the car, it's unable to escape. Contain the heat that he's generating, as we're doing here by putting a lid on the saucepan. Everybody who's ever cooked pasta knows exactly what is going to happen next. The heat can't escape, the temperature builds up, and it starts to boil. Everybody has a different physiognomy. Race drivers and normal human beings alike all differ minutely from each other. Some withstand it better, some succumb more easily. But still, uh, the, the fitness level can't always keep a driver in one piece. Some of the most extremely fit drivers still have trouble dealing with heat. Roman Morizo from Stonvantion, Stan 21, the uh, race suit manufacturer, says today we figure that the driver is probably the biggest variable in terms of performance uh, related uh, drop off in a car, bringing all the sort of technology and new materials that we can bring to bear within race suits and underwear and helmets and so on to try and keep his temperature within ranges has got to help in terms of performance. Well, this is an experiment, one of a number of experiments the Stan 21 have been conducting recently. The volunteer here, uh, who is our guinea pig driver, has a full three-layer race suit, all the fireproof underwear, gloves and helmets. And of course, he has been fully censored up. Not the genuine Manuel Reuter, I have to uh, tell you. However, by putting him in a controlled environment and getting him to do a controlled amount of work, they can scientifically measure exactly how his body reacts to the confines, to the heat, and by using wet heat and dry heat, they can vary the consistency and therefore try and work out exactly how best to deal with it. And the end result, hopefully, will be a new generation of race wear that allows the driver's bodies to breathe better so that in future, such antediluvian techniques will not be required to try and keep the body within manageable levels.